It's a hobo sewed the secret prank call show. Now your stupid host, Brad, will take it from here. Bum. Hey there, welcome to Hobo Sode number 430. This one is brought to you by Proximus and Tori, who supports us on patreon.com slash phone losers. I think today I'm going to call some numbers from a list that I got yesterday from Jim Baround. It's a bunch of classified ad phone numbers from several different classified ad sites across the internet. Hello. Hey, Barbara. Yes. Hey, uh, this is Brad, your neighbor. Oh, hi, Brad. Hi. What's up? Uh, well, did you change your Wi-Fi password? Because I can't get into your Wi-Fi anymore. Excuse me? Why do you need to get into my Wi-Fi? Well, that's how I watch my, my uh, television shows. <laughs> And Brad, do I know you? Oh, Where no, are you? No, I've never met you before. I just uh, when I first moved here, I uh, set up my Wi-Fi so I so it um, took from your Wi-Fi. I mean, I set up my computer and I connected it to your Wi-Fi. Really? Yeah, but did you I, did you change the password? <laughs> I didn't know that. I don't even know you, Brad. So. I know. I know. I've never met you. I don't know. I don't even know where you are. Ah, uh, I don't know where you you are either, but I'm not giving you my password. Even if I, no, sorry, uh, goodbye. Well, well, <laughs> why'd you do that, freaking Barbara? Hello. Hey, uh, Rebecca. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, um, I'm your neighbor. This is Brad. Hi. Hi. Did you change your password? Because I can't log into your Wi-Fi today. I usually use your Wi-Fi to do all my. To do all my internet stuff. Who am I talking to? It's Brad. I live a couple blocks away here in Lake City. Uh, yeah, no thanks. <laughs> what? Oh, here's a call coming in. Hello. Hello. Hey, who's this? Well, I just got a call from you. What did I say? Uh, but Pardon? What did I say? Well, I uh, my phone rang and your number came up. I'm Louie Herman. Oh, Louie, hey. Um, I was wondering what happened to your Wi-Fi, because I can't log into your Wi-Fi anymore. My Wi-Fi? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know anything about that. Oh, okay. Hey, I'm going to come to your house, and I'm going to do some metal detecting. And I'm going to dig holes in your front yard? No, I don't think you're going to do that. Yeah, well, I'll put the holes back. I'll, I'll bury them. I'll fill them back in. But, you know, I might find something good. Uh, who am I talking to? It's Brad, your neighbor. Brad? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I always use your Wi-Fi for my internet. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. Okay. And uh, when are you going to do that? Oh, when am I going to do holes? Uh, probably late tonight. I'll come out there. Probably after okay. after after midnight. Maybe two in the morning. I'm just going. Okay. I'm going to walk around and look for metal, and hopefully I'll find something good. Well, uh, I got a re rod in my. Wall down in the ground. A re so that may kick it off. Yeah. Oh, like in your underground cave it's, system? Well, it, it's it's tied into my block wall, retaining wall. I see. Okay. Well, if I start digging and I have to remove your retaining wall, I, I you know that's just what I got to do. So I'm a metal detector. Well, that could be down three, four feet. You know, I might go down three or four feet. Well, it might be frozen now. Uh, well, I'll dig in the frozen dirt. I don't care. Uh, okay. I got lots of mess. Well, if you want to come in the, tomorrow morning. Yeah, tomorrow morning. I'll, I'm going to come around one in the morning today. Or tonight, I mean. Te te why, why so late at night? I'm a late night person. And you, you living in my daughter's house? Yeah. 
And about okay. that, about that, I have been trying to flush my Christmas tree down the toilet, and it will not flush anymore. Flush your tree down the toilet? Yeah, since Christmas is over, I've been trying to flush the, yeah. Christ- the Christmas tree down the toilet, and it won't go down. What do I do? Well, either, either your septic tank is plugged or the line is plugged. Oh, I don't know which one it would be. I'm trying to flush the whole tree down the toilet. Well, you can't flush a tree down a toilet. Well, just a Christmas tree. It's only it's only like five foot t- tall. Well, you still can't put it down the toilet. Well, I got it like a third of the way down. Well, I can't believe that. So, what what do I do? Do I just keep flushing? I I wouldn't even try to put the tree down a toilet. Well, I already started. So, I, what do I do? Well, I would I would pull it back out. I never heard of such a thing. And then and then start putting it back down in there. Try. I would just take it out and burn it or throw it away. Oh, I'm not going to burn it. You ain't going to get it uh, down the toilet. I might. I did. I'm surprised. I did last I'm year. I'm surprised you. You got it that far. Yeah, well, you know, I, I was, I'm, I'm uh, persistent. Well, the pipe is only four inches. How are you going to get a Christmas tree through a four-inch pipe? I'll just keep hitting the flush button. It'll just keep flushing over and over. Eventually, it'll just flush like your poop does. Are you cutting it up in pieces? Uh, some of it, but mostly I'm just putting it down all together. I've never heard of such a thing. Well, now you have. And uh, I don't know what's wrong with this plumbing over here, but it does not seem to be very good because now my kitchen sink won't even won't even drain anymore. Well, if you're trying to put a Christmas tree down there, it ain't going to work. No, I'm not putting a Christmas tree down my kitchen sink. Just down the toilet. Well, uh, well, if you put it down the toilet, that's... The tree is plugging up the line. How do you know? You're not even here. How do you put a Christmas tree down to a three-inch line? You said four-inch. Four inch. Yeah, you said four-inch. Because the tree's yeah, up. but the tree's not. But in the toilet, when it bends around, it's about only three inches. No way you're gonna get that Christmas tree down there. Yeah, but I keep hitting the flush button. I keep flushing. That don't make no difference. Yeah, that's what it's happens just, when you flush the toilet. It spins it all around and chops it all up, and uh, it goes down the drain. Well, it ain't going to work. No, no, it works. I'm, I'm flushing right now. But, but then the water, it, oh, yeah, the water's coming up. Yeah, the water's going to overflow. Oh, it's overflowing. It's overflowing. Well, that, your line is plugged with... That, I would... You gotta take that Christmas tree and not put it down the line. You you just you just um I just need to keep flushing, right? I just gotta just keep it. No, the, you can't just, get it down there. It ain't gonna go. I'm gonna flush it real good. I'm gonna flush and flush and flush. And then Well, I don't make it. no difference. Well I gotta get get rid of this Christmas tree. I don't wanna carry it all the way outside. Well, uh, you're you're all you're doing is asking for a problem. I never heard of it putting a Christmas tree down a toilet. Yeah. You should try it. Do you have a Christmas tree? I got an artificial one. I'll come over and I'll try and help you put that down the toilet. No, you won't. I won't even try. No, you don't have to. You can just watch me. I'm going to come over. No. I'm going to put that artificial tree down the toilet. Well, I don't want my tree. I'd keep it for next year. Oh, no. Just get a new one next year. Like, get a real one. Real trees are better. This don't sound like my neighbor. Um. Okay. What's your wife's name? Uh. Well, I. I. Um. Why? Why do you need to know that? Are you some kind of an identity uh, thief? Yeah. Sir, I'll be honest with you. I'm just calling about the firewood. Do you have any firewood left? So. No. What's your wife's name? Susan? What's your wife's name? Susan! Okay, I... 
I don't know who you are, Brad. I know. You ain't my neighbor. I'm just calling about the firewood. I, what firewood? Oh, you're not selling firewood? No. What's your wife's name? I'm divorced. Oh. I thought your answering machine had a lady's voice on it. Well, her voice might be still on there. Oh, was her name Joan? Yeah. Oh, Joan and Louie, okay. I'm calling about your refrigerator. Oh, I got a refrigerator here. Yeah. Uh, what's your Wi-Fi password? Pardon? What's your Wi-Fi password? <coughs> I don't know. She isn't here. I need to get on the internet so I can look at these classifieds again and see about your refrigerator. Well, you have to come to the house. All right. I'm already here. I'm in your backyard. <laughs> what was that? I don't think you, you must got me mixed up with somebody else. No, no. I thought I thought it was uh Ashley. But no, it's it's uh Joan. Joan and Ashley. Louis. Joan and Louie. Yeah. Yeah, I live just down the street about um 3 blocks. I need I need that refrigerator. But well, I'll, I'll drive up to the house here and I'll show it to you. I'm already in your backyard. Well, there's nobody in my backyard what I can see. Well, no, I'm hiding. I'm hiding while I talk on the phone. Well, uh, do you see me peeking out? I don't know where... I don't. No, I don't see you. Hmm. I, are you at? I don't think you're at my house. Okay. Well, I was just, I was just trying to, you know, get into your Wi-Fi and figure out the password. That's all. What's your last name, Brad? Nichols. Nichols. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't have no Nichols that lives by me. I'm I'm spelling it like nickels, like the the money though. Yeah. Well, I as I say, I don't have no nickels that live by me. Okay. Maybe I called the wrong place. I guess I will let you go. I mean, you called me though. Well, you called me first. The phone rang, and I didn't get to it right away. And then when I got it, this is the number I had. Yeah. Yeah, that's how the caller ID hey. works. But I do have a refrigerator for sale. Yeah, I can't afford that. $125? Woo. Yeah. Oh, no way. Okay. All right. Sorry. I love you. Yep. Take care. Oh, I love you. Please say it back or it's weird. I am fine. I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right. Bye. I love you. Freaking guy making it weird. Man, that was exhausting. Hello? Hi, Deborah. Uh, no, you got the wrong number. Oh, shoot. <laughs> shoot, shoot, okay, shoot. Okay, thank you. I love you. I don't know why I said thank you. <laughs> Hello? Hi, Kelly. Hey. Hey. It, it's Brad, your neighbor. Brad, your neighbor? No, your neighbor. He, yeah, Brad, my neighbor. There you go. Hey, is, um, is something wrong who, with you? Who's, who's Brad, I'm my your, neighbor? Yeah, I'm I'm trying to watch movies on your Wi-Fi, and your internet is going really slow. Is there any way you can fix that? Uh, no. And you're calling from my number itself. I know, I know. Well, no, no, you don't know. Like, why would you want to be accessing my Wi-Fi? Well, c so I can play video. And complaining that it's running slow. Well, usually it runs fast, but today, today it's been running slow all day, ever since early this morning. Have you noticed that? Um, it, uh, it, okay. well, it, 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 he said it's Brad, is our our neighbor. What's your address, Brad? Hey, don't don't worry about it, buddy. No, fuck you. Don't worry about it. What are you yelling at me for? 
What's your address? I'm, I'm just your neighbor. I'm not like, like, why are you screaming at me? What's your? Well, why are you calling to my number? Wi Fi. We pay for that Wi Fi. Do you? Well, no, but I don't want to pay for it. Well, no, but why? Don't don't worry about us fixing it for you. Sir, can you tell your wife to shut the fuck up, please? How about no, you shut the fuck up? You're gonna get it now. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Is that a threat? Holy cow. That was pretty crazy. So uh, on this list here that Jim Brown sent to me, that right there was the point where uh, he switched area codes. Like before it was this one state. Now it's another state. And I just grabbed her phone number and put it into the caller ID. So that's pretty funny that, so that's pretty funny that she noticed, hoping that she wouldn't notice but then she did but i mean she completely forgot about it because she's so concerned about the wi-fi she probably doesn't even know how to change her password on her wi-fi now she's gonna spend the rest of the night trying to figure that out let me try her back real quick and actually ask about the item she has for sale hello hello yeah oh you cut out there for a second hey um also i was interested in that treadmill uh, the the prof- treadmill's been sold. The prof- oh fuck. Okay. My son's calling. What's he want? Can you tell him to hold on? The treadmill's been sold. Hey, you sh- you shut the sold. fuck up, lady. You, sh- from- you just Goodbye. shut up. Shut up, lady. I don't want to talk to you. Holy crap! That yell. That was like Mama Fratelli yelling. So the rest of this state here that I'm calling, you know, on this section of the list is going to be from her phone number. So she's going to be getting weird phone calls, thanks to me, and probably yelling at all of them like that. She's basically a final boss. I could try and call her back after this section, but I don't know. I've already called them twice. So just think about that. Remember that people are going to be calling that lady back, and she's going to be hollering at them. Hello? Hello, Greg? Yeah. Hey, it's your neighbor. It's Brad. Okay. Um, do you think you could stop writing on the snow on my car window in the mornings? And writing those silly... What? You keep writing in, in the snow on my car window. Uh, writing those what? silly things, and I don't appreciate it. Can, who do you think I... Who, are you talk, who do you think you're talking to? Well, this is Greg Nichols, right? Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, just please stop writing on my window like that, because okay, at least... Wait, 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 wait. Hey, hey, at least smudges. You know where are you? Where are you from? Georgia? Are you calling from Georgia? No, I'm not. Why would I be calling from Georgia? Oh, okay, listen. I live in Mumford. Do you live in Mumford, Alabama? Of course I do. I'm your neighbor. Why are you saying I'm in Georgia? But I'm writing stuff on your car. Yes, you are. Hey, why do you think I'm in Georgia? Because I have a son in Georgia named Greg Nichols. Oh, okay. You should have named him. Remember that's all over you. You should have that's named him. You, man. What? Huh? What? I'm 71 years old, man. I ain't writing on nobody's cars. Yeah, but no, you, you understand me. Hey, I have a door. I'm 71 years old, dude. I have a doorbell <laughs> camera, so I've seen you do it. You live in Mumford. Do you know Travis Oglesby? Yes, but I'm, that's my landlord. I'm, that's my landlord. I'm, I'm going over to his house right now. Oh, what are you going to say to him? Same thing you told me. Oh, okay. Yeah, just tell him. Yeah, I'm writing, tell him, your, I'm writing on your vehicles. I'm writing on your vehicles. Yeah. That's what you told me. Well, just, just in the snow, in the morning snow, in the morning frost. You cut that out. That's my, I don't go out there. That's my car, and, and that's weird that you're going up to it and, and write, you know, drawing hearts and stuff. Man, sir, you know what? You have a big problem. Well, no. A big problem. Why are you saying that? That sounds like a threat. Okay. I'm a veteran. I'm 71 years old, okay? I got no business fucking with your dumb ass, okay? Well, stop then. I will call the police. I will call the police. Oh, no, no. Okay? Don't, don't call the police. Just call Travis. Oh, no. I will call the police. Oh, no. I don't Okay, I, I, I don't give you permission well, to call the police. You can only call Travis. I don't need your permission to call anybody. Yeah, but I know Travis. Travis knows me. Well, well, okay, well, I call the police. 
Kevin's going to say the same thing. Well, the police are going to say the same thing. You leave that man's car alone and stop drawing hearts on it. Oh, you're an idiot, man. You, do you live down the road or why up you, the road? Why would you call me an idiot if you're the one drawing on my car? I am not drawing on your car. I would like mm. to see the videotape, and so would the police. Sir, Okay, my security system doorbell thing does not run on videotapes. Oh, it's well, a modern you know, system that, uh-huh. that uses electrons. So what you're saying, you can't back it up what you're saying. No, no, I can. I have the recordings. The recordings go back like seven months. I can show you the recording of you writing on my car. I'm just saying it's not going to be a VHS tape that you put in your VCR. That's old technology. Okay. I live right next door to Travis on the same side, right? I know. I know. Because I used to go in Travis's backyard all the time in the middle of the night. Okay, well, I'm going with it right now. Okay. Are you going to bring me with you? Yeah. Oh, you better not. Better not what? I'm just kidding. Are Are you on uh, court? Hey, don't you call me dude. Okay, asshole. That's better. Yeah. Oh, you better get inside. There's the police. They, they might be driving down your road and having a shootout. Oh, my God. Go inside. Go inside. I think the middle of the car. He's answering the door. Tell him to hurry. Tell him to go faster. Tra- man to Travis, get get your ass out of here. Say that to him. Hey, buddy. Talk to this guy. Sir? I'm just going to make sure Talk to him. Hello? 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 Hello, Travis? Yeah, this is Travis. Oh, hey, Travis. I was calling about the Murray lawnmower. Uh, only used a few times with the Briggins, Briggs and Stratton motor. That focuses on trade across. What you want to do? Get rid of it? No, no. Uh, um, Greg's trying to sell it. And I was trying to buy it for eight hundred dollars. He called me to say I'm writing on his car. Little hard in the morning, just when it's and he has. Wait, can, can you turn down your TV? I can't hear. <laughs> that wasn't television. That was Greg. <laughs> no, I can hear your television in the background. Oh, it's it's louder than Greg. Turn off that damn TV, sir. That's that's better. No, don't call the police on me. I just want the lawnmower. Hell, he ain't got no lawnmower, man. What? No, Greg's selling a lawnmower. No, Greg don't have no damn lawnmower. Greg, are you selling a lawnmower? I don't have a lawnmower. I never bought a lawnmower when I came over here. He said he had a lawnmower a long time ago when he lived in Arlington, but he sold it. Oh, weird. And he don't have no lawnmower. It wasn't no uh, the kind you talking about, no about. Oh, oh, that's crazy. I don't know. I got this list here from uh, Jim Brown. And uh, he says that Greg's selling a lawnmower. And, um, uh, he, so don't be bothering him no damn more. Well, can you, can you tell Greg to stop? Uh, I wanted to get back into the window drawing stuff. Here's a guy with the wood splitter. Pop out boxing, Jim. How can I help you? Hey, Bobby. Yes. Whoa. Jeez. What was that noise? That was crazy. That's, that's my buzzer. Okay. You need to turn that shit off when you're on the phone. Uh, this is Steven from the... No, I own a boxing gym. How can I help hey, you? Hey, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to talk. Uh, this is uh, okay. James from the city of Lighton. We're, we're gonna... James from the city of Lighton? Yeah. I don't know I don't know what city of Lighton, you goat fucking bastard. Oh, really? Yes. You want to talk to me that way? Come down to my fucking gym and do that. I will bust your fucking lip, you old bastard. Oh, no, you're not allowed to. You can't be going around busting people's lips. I'll call you the, talk to me that way, you're going to get a fucking ass whooping. That's I'll, all I'm telling you. I'll call the police on you, you Bring son your of, ass here. Bring your of, ass son here. Son of a bitch. Okay. 
Say that shit to my face, you uh, coward motherfucker. Oh, I will. I'm going to come in there for boxing classes. I'm going to call you son of a bitch. Look here. I'm opening the door right now. The fucking door is open. Oh, guess I'm what? I'm waiting. Guess what? I've had a rough fucking day. Hadn't had a knockout since 2007. I'm due. That's because you your suck. Bring sorry ass down here. because you suck now. You, do, you don't know how to do knockouts. Bring your sorry ass down here, and you'll fucking find out. That's because you're a weak. I guarantee you. You're a weak old man. You can't do punches anymore. I'm a weak old man. Can't do punches anymore. I tell you, there's only one way to find out. How's that? Only one way to find out. If you're not a coward, bring your ass down here. Okay, I'm good. I'm on my way. I'm gonna be there in 20 okay, minutes. I'm here. I, I, look, I got the door open for you. I even got the fan on, so when you wake up, it'll be good and cool in L- here. Listen here, you fucking idiot. You need to shut the door. It's cold out there. You're letting all the heat out. I pay the fucking electricity bill. I can open the door if I want to. No. Come no, on. I'll, I'll report you. I'll report you to the city. Come on. You'll see. Come on. Come on. I'm here. No, Doors open. Not Waiting if you're, on Not you. if you're going to waste all the heat. Waiting on you. That's crazy. Waiting on you. You're being silly, Waiting sir. Waiting on you. That's bad for the earth. You're just, you're just Waiting making, on your, you. you're making your heater work overtime. Waiting on you. You're costing yourself money. Waiting on you. Hey, turn off that buzzer thing. That's annoying. Waiting on you. Okay. Waiting on you. Hey, listen here, buddy. I love you. Waiting on you. I love you. I gotta get come going. On. Oh, I know. I gotta. I gotta go. I'm on my landline, so I gotta hang up so I can come and see you. All I'm, right. Well, come on. I'm, I'm waiting. I'm gonna give. I'm here. I'm gonna, go. gi- I'm gonna give you a kiss on the lips. No. And and me and no, you. Don't think so. I, we're gonna touch tongues. All right. Well, come on. Okay. I'll, I'll be- touch your tongue. That's a fucking guarantee. Okay. I can't wait. Come on. I love you. What, wait, why are you mad? I forget. There he goes. He hung up. I think I mispronounced his city name, which tipped him off that I was not from his city. So let me try this next guy on the list who I do know how to pronounce his city because it's an easy one. Hello. Hello, Ernest. He's not home tonight. He's he's going to see a man about a dog. Oh, to buy a dog or to. Wow. Just hang right up on me. Okay, whatever. I guess I'll leave his number in there and try him back some other time. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Hollis? Yes. Hey, it's it's Steve Dave from the city of Hart, Sully. It's who? It's Steve Dave from the city. Yeah? Uh, we're going to be we're going to be bringing over a few pallets of salt rock and put it in your garage. Is your garage um it's not it's not messy, is it? talking about uh i'm with the city we're gonna come over with some trucks and we're gonna put a bunch of uh, rock salt in your garage just to store i don't think you are no just to store it there for a while no i don't think you are no we have to that's that's the only place we have to put it no you don't have to yeah we do and we're going to uh this is steve no you're not who is this this is steve dave from the city no it's not yeah it is how would you know who i am Because I recognize your voice. Oh, who is who am I then? This is Jim. How'd you know I'm Jim? Because I said you were. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just making <laughs> pr- I'm just making prank calls. That's all. I know you are. You're a lot of fun. Oh, th- anyway, thank you. I don't even have a garage, so see. Ah, shoot. <laughs> you really screwed up. I know. I'm bad at prank calls. All right. But I'm well, getting better. Good luck. You were a lot of fun. I'm getting better at prank calls. I'll I'll get you next uh, year. I'll get, okay. I'll have get, a, have I'll, a great year. I'm gonna get you Bye-bye. good. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, she was so nice. She was selling a power lift chair with a heat and massage. Don't you hate it when you're sitting here trying to do a show, trying to put a show together? And you do a call, and it's not the best call, but it was mildly amusing. And then you look up and you notice that you stopped recording after the last call. Well, that just happened to me. But luckily, my calls usually back up to my Astra server. Here, let me log into that and see if this call exists. Because sometimes it decides just not to do that. It's like, fuck you, Brad. I'm not going to record this phone call. Maybe next time. Hello. Hey, uh, where's Diane? Where's Diane? Yeah, you're Diane on the phone, you son of a bitch. 
Well, you son of a bitch, you got the wrong fucking number. Don't no, call I again. Don't. No, I don't. This is Jim. So there it is. That was the entire call. Saved as a low-quality sound file, thanks to Asterix. I used to lose so many phone calls back in the day. I mean, I still do occasionally, but not as many as I used to, so that's nice. Hello? Hi, Willard. Yes. Hey, it's your neighbor. It's Brad. Pardon? It's your neighbor. It's Brad. Oh, hey, what's up? Hey, can you can you stop writing on my car window in the snow? That leaves smudges whenever I'm trying to drive. I think you must have the wrong party. Oh, no. This is Willard Smith. And you're saying I wrote on your windows in the snow? Yeah, just in the snow. It's no big deal. I was just hoping you could not do that anymore. And, I mean, no offense or anything, but I'm not interested in you because you keep drawing those hearts with mine and yours names in them. Listen, that's not me, buddy. Oh, I, I, no, you don't have to be ashamed or anything. I have nothing, I'm not ashamed. I have, it's not me. Sir, I have nothing against gay people. I'm just, I don't happen to be gay. I'm not I'm, gay either. I'm not, I'm not available, okay? I'm not gay either. Okay. And I'm if, happily married for 60 years. If you were interested in me, you should find a better way to express it than right down my window listen, like li- that. Listen, 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 listen. You've got the wrong guy. I'm oh, no, no, I don't. This, this is Will. Come on. How many Willards are out there? There's probably like three in the entire United States. He's trying to tell me I got the wrong one. I don't know. Texas. So do you want to talk about I'm, not, I'm not in Texas, Gregory. I live here. Okay. I live here in Benton. I live here in Benton okay. part time, and I live in Texas part time. But I chose to, to keep okay. the Texas number. Cool. You son of a bitch. All right. All right. Hey, mm. uh, I'm in your backyard right now. Okay. Do you still have that treadmill? I do. Okay. Is that uh, still 175 dollars? Yes, sir. Can I come in and try it out real quick? Yeah. All right. Just a minute. Are you in the back? Yeah, I'm in the backyard. Okay. I'm hiding. You see me? I'm peeking out. No, I'm I'm coming. Just a minute, I'll be there. <laughs> Are you gonna hang up on me? Hey. He hung up on me. Looks like we got a call coming in and not totally sh- it might be the guy I just talked to. Hello. Yes, sir. What? You did you just call me? Yeah. I don't see anybody out in the yard. Yeah, why'd you hang up on me? Because I was going out to meet you. Oh. And you sound crazy. I'm not crazy. I'm just hiding back here. <laughs> I don't know who you are, man, but uh you sound weird to me. Oh, I'm I'm a little weird. Um do you want me to leave your backyard? I just said something to you, and you didn't pick up. You didn't mention anything, so I don't think you're there. What are you talking about? Oh, no. No, I I was hiding, and he hung up again. Hello. Hello, James? Hello, yes. James, oh, thank God you picked up. Oh, my name is not Eugene. I said James. James? Yeah, is your name James? No, it's not. What is it then? Yeah, well, things happen. Wait, is your is it is it Bonnie? Is there a Bonnie there? No, there's no Bonnie here. It's I'm the only person in this truck. What are you selling? Well, I didn't know I was calling a truck. What are you selling in the classifieds? Are you selling um, farm raised beef? No, I'm selling firewood. Oh, one hundred thirty dollars a stack. Uh, 130 a cord. Uh, it says a stack on here. Oh, well, it's a cord. It's uh, well, it doesn't matter. Make- I don't want any of your damn firewood. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for calling. You, you could just take that firewood and stick it up your ass, you son of a bitch. Hey, are you looking for uh, farm raised beef? Um, no, why? Well, I was going to say if you were, I ain't going to sell you none of that either. Oh, good, because I don't want any. Take that, All right. you motherfucker. All right. Okay. All right. I, lo- I love you, James. So in the email where uh, Jim, wait, what's his name? Oh, yeah, Jim Around sent me this list of numbers. He said he used uh, usphonebook.com to try and get the names on some of these. 
So some of the names may or may not be correct. So I guess that's what that one's problem was. And the one earlier where I asked for Diane or whatever, and then he yelled at me like a jerk. Hello? Hi, Jeanette. Yeah. Hey there. Um, This is your neighbor, Brad. Uh, I'm, oh, I'm, hi. Hi. I'm on your Wi-Fi. That's how you use my internet. And uh, your internet's going really slow today. Is there some sort of a problem? Um, you're on my Wi-Fi? Yeah, I was trying to watch some Netflix. And it's just going slow. It keeps it keeps stopping the movie. And uh, then it starts up again. And where do you live? Uh, just down the street a little bit. You're in Columbia. So well, are, how are you getting on my Wi-Fi? Um, I've, I've got a powerful antenna that I can point at a different... Yeah, but you have to have a passcode. Oh, yeah, I hacked the passcode. I used my Flipper Zero. It's a hacking tool. Um, what is your address? Oh, I don't want to give that out. I just, like, are you having internet problems or is it just me? Oh, I don't know. I haven't been on it today. Oh, okay. Can you reset your modem real quick? I bet you that'll fix everything. No, but I'd appreciate it if you stayed off my Wi-Fi. Well, I need to be able to watch Netflix and stuff. Here, I'll let you talk to my husband. Okay. Hello? Hello, sir. What, what's, what's the problem with your Wi-Fi? Because I'm trying to watch Netflix, and it's just not working. Because you're you're not successfully stealing our Wi-Fi, is that why it's not working? No, I'm on your Wi-Fi. Uh, I'm able to be on the internet and everything, but it's just going really slow. So did did you slow down my internet? Because I'm trying to watch Netflix. So what 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 is your address? Uh, it's none of your damn business, you son of a bitch. Look. I just want you better just forget the, you better forget this phone number. I can tell you that. Why are you saying that? You just come over here toe to toe if you want to talk to me. Are you just angry because I said son of a bitch? This whole phone call is unnecessary. I don't know what you're up to. But. I'm not up to anything. I just want my Wi-Fi to work. I was, I'm I'm in the middle of binging something on on Netflix. Well, I am so sorry. It's it's the Baby Shark series. <laughs> And I don't know what to actually tell them that I'm watching. Can anybody out there think of some really lame TV shows that I could say I'm watching? I'm looking through their movies right now. Oh, I could say I'm watching the live action Flintstones one and two. Everybody loves watching that. Hey, Robert. Hey, is this David? Yes, it is. Oh, listen here, buddy. I'm on your Wi-Fi trying to use your internet and it's slow as fuck. Who is this? You need to get that internet of yours fixed. Who is this? Uh, this is your neighbor. It's Brad. I live down the street. Hey, your TV. You, um, your TV is loud as fuck. I can't even hear you. Oh. Tur- turn off that Jesus. You're Brad? Is that her? Yeah, what I mean, the hell are you doing on my internet? Oh, that's how I use my internet. I'm trying to watch some Netflix. Well, I, you don't need to be on my my internet. Oh no, I've been on I've been on your internet for a lot for like over a year. It's just that it's really really slow tonight. Is is, is your internet slow well, too? Good. Good. Can, can you turn down that TV? Turn down the TV. Thank God. Ugh. Yeah, um, yeah, if you just, uh, can you What's re- your last name? What's you, your last name? Can you reboot your modem, maybe? I'm not rebooting anything. Please? All you gotta do is unplug it and then plug it back in. Maybe that'll make it work better. What's your, what's your last name? Carter? I don't know who you are, and you shouldn't be on my internet. Well, and I, I'm hanging up on I you. I am on Bye. your internet. I just want you to fix it. Nobody wants me on their internet. By the way, there's this awesome video going around. 
that keeps getting sent to me and posted on the PLA Facebook and the PLA Reddit and all this other stuff. Um, it's this guy going up to these people's doorbell and he's talking to them and it's this old man and I don't think it's fake. It seems real to me. But here, just listen to this guy because uh, this is basically my phone calls in real life. Hey. I live next door. I've got problems with the Wi-Fi. Okay. Uh, okay, so why are you here to me? So it's just it's just an old man out on their porch and he's speaking into the doorbell. Well, it's your Wi-Fi, isn't it? Have you done something? Okay, but I've got a problem with my Wi-Fi. Well, I, I've got problems with your Wi-Fi. You've put a password on it. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Look, I've been... How long have I been here now? I've been here two years. I've happily used the Wi-Fi. And uh, now I see that you, you've uh, put a password on it. And I can't use it. The nerve of him. I think you're being unreasonable. <laughs> Sorry, what? I, lo- I love this guy. Sorry. Wait, what? What did you say? Look, look, it's very simple. You have Wi-Fi, right? Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've I have been, Wi-Fi, yeah. Yeah, 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 right. Well, I've been happily using your Wi-Fi now for a couple of years, and all of a sudden you put a, a password on years. it, and I've yeah. got no access. I tell you what, you let me have your password, and that's, that's, uh, that's the end of the problem. Yeah, but uh, hold on a minute. He has the exact same attitude as me on phone calls. But this guy is in his house talking to this guy. You've been using my Wi-Fi. Well, I don't know how much of of your Wi-Fi it is. I mean, you know, it's a signal, is it? Right. Well, the signal doesn't remain just within your four walls. So what comes out here is it public. It's on public property, right? It's public. So I can I can use yeah, the okay, signal. But like, okay, but now you can't because I put a password on it. Yeah, that, it, that's it. That's exactly right. So, look, there's two things we can do. This is, the guy that he's talking to is so calm about the whole thing. I guess when it's happening in real life, almost, the guy is out on your porch. They're not as brave with all the threats and stuff. One is, and I think the easiest thing is, let me have your password. Uh, or, of course, you can always remove your password. I mean, it's just pretty easy, really. Simple as that. This guy needs to get a flipper zero. Yeah, yeah, and that would solve like, the problem for both of us, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, but the thing is, though, is, like, I'm paying for it. And, like, why... Yeah, yeah but the thing is, that, like, okay, so I put password on it. Yeah, I put password on it because yeah. my Wi-Fi has been really slow. And my broadband s- suggested for me to put a password on it to make it yes. faster. And, and, but, obviously, because they thought other people were using it. And, coincidentally, well, I, they, someone else was yeah. using it. No, I, th- I think that's very unreasonable. I mean, I you know, there's, there's got to be My a, a wife, bit of being given... slow because someone else is using it, and coincidentally, it was you who's using it. Well, it was probably me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've established that, and then my Wi-Fi was being slower inside my house, so my broadband suggested well, I need to put a password on it. So I, look, I don't, I don't mind how slow it runs. Actually, you know, it, I no, 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 I, no, I understand that my... you don't mind how how slow it runs, but I do. Well, okay, but that's the Wi-Fi within your house. What about the Wi-Fi that's coming out the walls? And that's what I'm using. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's a different Wi-Fi. Runs. It's uh, good enough for me. Yeah, yeah but like, what I'm trying to say is that Wi-Fi is still mine. Well, okay, if you want to use some of it. I mean, you can sit in your garden and you can use the Wi-Fi like, there. Is this guy just fucking with his neighbor by doing this? It almost seems like he'd have to be. Because nobody can be like this. It's weird. I don't mind. But if you've got a lot of work to do, maybe you can let me know that you're using it so that, uh, you know, it doesn't interfere with the downloading. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying, like, right now I put a password on it. So then, like, now it's just mine. Yeah, well, you can't, you, you know, I'm sorry, old, old fruit, but the, you're being unreasonable. It's not neighborly. What we're trying, you know, we're trying to be neighborly about these things. So you keep your Wi-Fi within the house, lock the windows, close the door, seal up the letterbox, but anything that comes out through the walls is public. But it's not public, though, is it? There we go. That's the end of that conversation. And that was posted on Reddit by Omega Goober. And it was posted to everything, I think. I think I've seen this in every place possible, including my email. I love that old man. That's going to be me when I'm that age. 
I'm going to be ringing doorbells and yelling at people about their Wi-Fi. Hello? Oh, my gosh. Thank God you picked up. Is uh, Andrew? Who is this? Uh, this is your neighbor, Brad. I just got home from work. Um, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, well, uh, I, I use your Wi-Fi for my internet, and it's going really slow. Is there something you can do to, to, to fix that? What are you talking about? Well, I'm on your Wi-Fi, and I, I'm trying to watch a movie. A movie. Why on Netflix. would you be on my Wi-Fi? So I can watch a movie on Netflix. I'm watching the Flintstones live-action movie with Rick Moranis. Um, I don't. I don't know who you are, and I don't. Where do you live? Oh, just down the street a little bit. Yeah. Well, forget it. Bye. What? Why? Why? What's the problem? So you guys may not realize this, but through the magic of editing my show, it's been six hours since the last call. I mean, besides that call I just made, that one was made six hours after the previous one, if that makes any sense. I mean, really, the show's done. I should just end it right here, but it's late at night. It's uh, 1030 my time, and most of these are at least in the central time zone, so it's going to be after midnight there. Where that lady was, it was 130 in the morning. And it's been a while since I've woken people up for stupid reasons. So let's do a little bit of that. I finished the list before to calling. So now I'm just calling them back again to see if they'll pick up. Oh shit, here's Ernest. I remember uh, somebody else picked up for him earlier. So maybe now he'll be home. Because he was out getting a dog. I suddenly remember. Hello. Hello, Ernest. Hello. Hello, Ernest. Is that you? Hello. Hello, Ernest. Is that you? It is. Oh, okay. Hey, it's your neighbor. It's Brad. Uh-huh. Uh huh. I'm on your Wi Fi, and your internet is going really slow, and I'm trying to watch a movie. Huh. Now, you're you're on my you're on my Wi Fi. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I get on my internet, is I, I get on to your Wi-Fi. Oh, uh, I don't, but I don't really know. I don't know how to make our Wi-Fi hmm. uh, any, any faster. I, maybe I'm not up to stuff, mobile, all this stuff. Maybe if you reboot the modem. Uh, well, to speed up the Wi-Fi. Could you, could you download... Oh, hey, hey. He's uh, he's watching a movie. And he's on our uh, he's on our uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah, tell, tell her I'm trying to watch the Flintstones live action with John Goodman. Yeah, what the, yeah she's trying. To, he's trying to watch a movie. That's, Flintstones that's going slow. You know, these I gotta do to speed it up, honey. Huh? Hold on just a second. Okay. So what are you trying to do? Uh, I'm just, I'm on your Wi-Fi, and the, interne- uh-huh. the internet's just going really slow tonight. And I, I didn't know if that was something that's like a problem over there. Because I'm, I'm, I'm using your Wi-Fi. I've been using your Wi-Fi for the past year for my internet. Oh, okay. Could you, could, okay. Could, could you, could you get up on the roof? Could you get up on the roof and jiggle the antenna? No, I can't. And why are you calling this time of night? Uh, because I'm trying to watch this movie. I just got home from work. Oh. I'm trying to watch the Flintstones live action. Who are you? Uh, my name is Brad. I live down the road a little bit. And you've been on my internet. You've been on my Wi-Fi. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, oh. so I don't have to pay for my internet. Brad, who? Carter? Well, I don't know why you're calling this time of night, but I'm not, I can't set up no internet or Wi-Fi for you. Could you go over to your modem? Could you go over to your... No, I can't. Just go over to your modem and, and slap it on the side. I'm not, I'm not going over to my modem and I'm not, and I'm not slapping it overnight. Why? Seven, Just kick it. I'm 73 years old and I need my sleep. Okay. And I don't appreciate you calling in the middle of the night. I'm sorry. Were you dreaming? 
No, I wouldn't. Oh, what, what were you dreaming about? I'm sleeping. You're dreaming that you were sleeping? Don't. I'll hear. Why'd that man say goodbye to you? Ma'am? Well, that was a pretty weird conversation. She was in Alabama, so I guess that means it's 1.40 where she is. 1.40 in the morning. I'm not getting many answers, actually, on these ones that I'm calling back now. Hello. Oh, hello, Michael? Uh, no, no Michael here. Ah, shoot. Well, did you have those puppies? Oh, he hung up. Son of a bitch. Okay, I have one more. I'm going to try. Her name's Elizabeth. She's interested in belt buckles from rodeos. Thank you for calling. We cannot answer the phone right now. Oh, darn. No Elizabeth for us. Anyway, that's the end of today's hobo sode. Thanks again, Proxima Centauri for... Am I saying that right? Centauri? Probably not. You guys can yell at me. I don't care. But thanks, everybody, for supporting the show. I still make every 10th hobo sode available to the public. And that's what today's was. But I had fun. That was some crazy shit. Thanks again, Jim Brown, for sending this list in. And by the way, you sent me other lists that I haven't even gotten to yet. Don't worry, I'll get to them eventually. It might be a year from now. Hopefully not that long. But maybe even longer. But hang in there, I'll get to it eventually. Thank you for listening, everybody. Here's the music. Grace! Grace! Grace!